Good morning guys, welcome back to a solo day in the life. I asked you guys in my last college week in my life if you wanted me to start breaking up my weeks and my weekends and so far every single person has said yes, they want to see uh, Monday through Thursday week in my life and then Friday through Sunday weekend in my life. So that is the schedule I am going to be switching to as of right now. Um, well, at least I'm gonna test it out this week but I figured I would still vlog today um, and just do a solo day in the life so you guys can kind of see my Sunday routine. So it's actually already noon. Um, I went to a friend's house last night and we had a lot of fun. And I ended up sleeping, not in, I slept until 8.30. That is literally my idea of sleeping in nowadays. But I sat and like scrolled on my phone for about an hour and then I hopped right into my Sunday routine which is uploading my week in my life which is where you guys can check out my college outfits of the week plus what I've been up to. I also recap um, what blog posts went up that week in that post. So I did that and then I uploaded my week in my life which went live on YouTube earlier this morning. I uploaded my stories to my Instagram so that you guys can swipe up and shop all of the things that I wore this week. And then I posted my Instagram photo, responded to some emails, got ready, and here we are. Here's the vibes. So here's what I'm wearing today. Um, I figured I would try out the little shoulder pad tee action today. So my top is from Shein. My jeans are from Express. I've got on a Western buckle belt from Shein. And then I've got on cute little like horn-ish earrings from Romwe. And I've got on just a couple of bracelets. I'm going to add black booties to this. So I told you guys that it's lunchtime and I'm in the kitchen and I'm about to, I, want, I really want a chicken tender wrap today. Been craving one. So I'm just heating up a chicken tender. These ones are so big. I use, I usually always get the Tyson's chicken tenders, but I got the Meyer breaded chicken ones. Um, when I was at the grocery store last time and they're actually good. I think I like them better than Tyson's. They're more like real chicken and they are, but they're huge. They're also cheaper, but they're gigantic. So I'm just popping this in our air fryer, literally like our kitchen's a mess right now, but popping in the air fryer and for like 15, 12, 15 minutes, these ones take longer to cook than the Tyson's ones. But um, you know, either way, it's still only 15 minutes, so. There she goes. My infamous chicken tender wrap is very simple, guys. Heat up a tortilla with cheese on it, then add ranch and barbecue sauce in your chicken tender, wrap it all up, and you're good to go. Today, I actually added a piece of bacon because we had it left over from yesterday. I made bagel sandwiches yesterday, so figured I'd throw a piece on. Okay, it is. 1.37 now, it's about an hour and a half later. I have been sitting on my phone, scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, literally any form of social media while watching The Notebook because I will be honest, this last week, if you watched my last week in my life vlog, the craziest week of college video, um, you would know that I had a really bad, uh, not a bad week, a really crazy week. It was hectic, three exams, big little dates, lots of blog work, YouTube videos, photo shoots. And my social battery, guys, was just, it's, it's running low. It's running low. And so I just, I need to like sit and do nothing for the day. Um, so I just did that for a little bit, watching The Notebook, because honestly, I just wanted some background noise, and it was on the first thing that came up on Netflix. So now I am forcing myself to be productive because I'm actually incapable of just sitting and relaxing without feeling the most tremendous amount of guilt ever. So I will be editing tomorrow's YouTube video, which thankfully is just a college outfits of the week. Super quick and easy to edit. I'm gonna edit that, and I'm gonna edit a pretty little thing haul that's gonna go up later this week, so. Alrighty, I just finished up editing both of those videos. I edited the try on haul for Pretty Little Thing and then I edited the outfits of the week. I processed both of those videos to YouTube and then I made thumbnails for both of them. So those are all ready to go. It's 3.30 now and I'm actually going to get working on an assignment for my fashion retail industry class. We have like a web assignment, which is basically just like a discussion board. We have to type like three paragraphs worth of responses to a podcast. So he's having us listen to this podcast that talks about how the fashion industry has been affected by the coronavirus. 
a lot of my classes right now have actually been asking like the same kinds of questions we've been talking about that topic in a lot of my classes so I already have knowledge on it and probably could answer the questions on its own but he really wants us to listen to this 30 minute podcast and kind of base our discussion off of that podcast so I figured I would change into workout clothes put my hair up um, pop my airpods in listen to that podcast on a walk so that's what I'm gonna do I'm about to get into some workout clothes ready okay here I am got on a sports bra from Shein I've got on my favorite leggings ever from Buff Bunny they're awesome gray seamless black sneakers from New Balance black zip up is from 90 degree by reflex I just texted myself the link to the podcast about to turn it on I'll actually bring you guys with because I have pockets in this baby so Let's get rolling. This guy is going through it right now. I'm praying it doesn't rain on me. Walking back home now. I'm right in front of the K. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up my podcast and it was basically three um, individuals that worked in the buying industry and they were talking about how coronavirus has affected retail, obviously, like I said, but how it's going to affect future buying seasons. So basically like what their predictions are for the holiday season, Christmas, and how people are going to shop from now on. They said that like people are basically they want to do what's convenient now. They, at first, were opposed to the idea of like, pick up groceries, that kind of thing, like, you know, drive-by stuff. But now that they've done it, they're like, wow, this is so much more convenient. And I'm saving so much time, and I can use these things to do different, I can use that time to do different things, hobbies, passions, and that it really won't go back to normal because people are going to want to take advantage of this new way of life and it will be very strange like it's not likely that they will go back so anyways i just got back to the house i am getting my brevo to go inside right now um and i walked for about 30 minutes like exactly my podcast just ended and it was 30 minutes so that's good oh also the house is decorated now um i still haven't filmed the house tour i might do one now that it's halloween but i'll give you guys a little rundown our um, Chef Lou, she decorates for every season and she came here yesterday and put up all the Halloween decor and it's so cute in here. It's a little over the top um, as far as like there's stuff everywhere, but um, it's really fun and festive. So I know I have a package at the front door. I'll come through and show you guys the foyer as well because it's super decorated too. So let's see. Oh, someone brought my package in. That was so nice of them. Um... There's a bunch of stuff in here as well. This is like a skeleton mermaid thing. And there's a spider hanging from the ceiling. And then she's got more stuff over here. The outside of our house is really decked out too. I'll show you guys in a second. She's got like a spider web and she's got all these little skeletons hanging from the tops. As you can see, super cute, fun, festive, makes you feel like you're home. And then we've got a little bat on the door. Anyways, this is a Lulu's package. I'm gonna bring it upstairs and I'll show you guys what I got. So let's open up my stuff. Okay, first things first, I actually got an Amazon package and I truthfully never get Amazon mail. The only thing that I ordered from there today was a new laptop case because I obviously got my new Mac. If you guys didn't watch last week's Week in My Life, you definitely should. In that video, I show my new MacBook Pro. I, got an, I bought myself a new one just because my old one was getting really, really old. It was overworked and it was just time for me to upgrade. So after, full, okay, I got my first Mac my freshman year of high school. So I'm a sophomore now. After a good five year run, um, I decided, you know, now's the time. So I just literally got a clear acrylic case. It's the exact same one I have on my computer now. My, this is my MacBook Pro 15 inch. I haven't started using my new Mac because I was waiting to get my case for it because I'm like scared I would drop it or something. This one has like a skin on it with all these pictures. There, This is literally just a sticker on top of my clear case. It's from Case App, 
I'm not gonna put a photo like sticker on this one, but I just have it clear for now. I'm sure I'll add something to it later. But anyways, that was like $13, $15. I'll try to leave it linked down below for you guys. And then I'm doing another collaboration with Lulu's. So they always have the cutest packaging ever. I'm very excited. I got my first lack of colors hat, guys, and I could not be more excited. I have been on such a hat kick. Truthfully, this is a size medium because they were out of size smalls and it's a little big, but I mean, look at that hat. That is beautiful. I've been loving hats. They are seriously like the best piece for um, like taking pictures. They're the perfect accessory. So I grabbed that. This is not going to be a try on haul, obviously. Okay, and then I grabbed this navy lace dress from Lulu's, all the stuff's from Lulu's, obviously. And I figured that this would be the perfect, like, little wedding guest dress. I don't have a wedding to go to, but a lot of you guys have been asking for wedding guest attire. So, I am working on a blog post for it. Trust me, guys. I am, I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm trying to give you what you want. Okay, then I grabbed just a black bodycon dress. This literally looks two inches big right now, but it'll stretch out. Just a super cute mock neck ribbed dress. And then I grabbed this gray corduroy skirt. Skirt, I can't speak. It's not a skirt, it's just a regular skirt. I really hope this fits. Looks a little big, but it's super, super cute. So, got that. And then I grabbed this tee from them as well. It's a Kiss shirt. Obviously, I've never listened to Kiss ever in my life, but I don't know. I just really liked it. So it says rock and roll kiss all night. Thought it'd be fun with jeans and sneakers. And then I also grabbed this leopard midi skirt. I love midi skirts so much, and I've been wanting a leopard one, like a high quality one. I've had a couple from Shein, but I really wanted a nice one since they're such a staple. I also want to do a capsule wardrobe for the fall and this would probably be something that I put in it, so. Grabbed that. Okay, I'm really, really, really excited for this coat. This was a pretty expensive jacket, I'm not gonna lie, um, I believe. It is a double-breasted coat, and I have a similar one from Fashion Nova, but this is like a heavy one. This is super high quality, and it is gorgeous. Should I try it on right now? I was just dying to get my hands on something that was really nice like a jacket that could last me forever basically so i figured this would be the perfect one it's just like a neutral which i love and i don't know i feel like you could wear this as a fashion coat or as like a legitimate warmth coat too i wish the sleeves were just a little longer but i mean i look profesh so professional but like i could throw it over workout wear and it still work you know what i mean so very pleased with that okay and then I got one pair of shoes these are from Steve Madden and they are a cute pair of sneakers I'm usually not a sneaker girl but since I've been back to school I've been wearing them so much so I grabbed these I think these will look they're just super neutral as you can tell they're white with a little bit of silver um, and then nude along with a toe box very very cute and I thought that these would look really cute with the coat, as you can tell, like just like jeans and a sweater underneath. I thought they would look cute with the skirt, and I also thought they would look really cute with like the t-shirt and just jeans. So very excited. A couple of the other things that were on my list were out of stock, and they didn't ask me to replace the out of stock things with new picks. So I got a few less items this time around than I usually do, but... So I just sat down and immediately completed the web assignment for my fashion retail industry class on that podcast. Basically just a paragraph's worth of information. This was like 350 words. And then we had to respond to someone. And my roommate from last year, Emma Etherington, <laughs> she was literally right above me. So I just responded to hers. There are a bunch of other people that wrote their responses and just kind of, you know, summed up what we talked about. Some of the questions that he asked us were... I'll read it to you. This is what we were kind of supposed to be going off of. Describe the retail experience of the future. Think of a retailer or brand that has adapted well to the changing landscape of today's consumer impacted by COVID-19. Discuss whether you agree or disagree with the challenges facing the retail industry as discussed in the podcast. So I just went through those and um, submitted that. I'm glad because now, you know, knocked out a school assignment on a Sunday, which I don't usually do. I usually save schoolwork for the weeks, but... Anyways, I'm going to take a picture in this outfit and then I'm going to change back into my um, 
outfit that I was wearing earlier because I have a date, not a date, let me rephrase that. I had an Ivy Linker date with Sophia about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and we're going out again tonight. We're gonna go to Barrio and I'm gonna pick her up in about 15 minutes, so. Okay, me and Sophia are at Barrio. This is her first Barrio experience. Today I got one chicken taco, one shrimp. I'm gonna give them a try. And both of them have cheddar cheese, corn, pineapple salsa. We're crushing, the, well let me rephrase, I'm crushing the chips. No. <laughs> okay, what'd you get? I got, this is the steak, and then this is the chicken, and I got pineapple, pineapple, and like a bunch she of She got like onions and like lettuce yeah. and stuff. So we'll come back and rate for you guys. We're having our baseball chats. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna rate our tacos. <laughs> First, tell us which one was your favorite and then what you rate it out of 10 and why. So the one, the Coke marinade steak was like my favorite. Like I'm still that thinking was about one? it. Okay. It was definitely the best one. When I go back, like when I get two again, I'm You'll definitely get getting both. Okay, and back. what do you rate it out of 10? Both tacos together. Your whole barrio experience, like. No, I don't, like, I don't want to be like easy with it, but it was a 10 out of 10. A 10? Like actually, okay. like. I. God, yeah, today was so fast. We sat down right away and our food came within like yeah. 20 minutes. Like right after our chips. I mean, we have, I have been gone for like an hour and a half now, but it's just because we like to talk. Yeah. Um, okay, so I actually was not super impressed with the shrimp taco. It was good, but it wasn't like black and like I thought it'd be like seasoned, you know, like Mexican-y and it really wasn't. So I'm giving my overall experience a nine out of 10. My chicken was so good today, very flavorful. It was but good. The shrimp I probably wouldn't get again. I really want to try the steak next time I go, but it was still very good. Every service was good, company, you know. So give it a nine. You guys will see Sophia in the next video. This is just a solo yes. day in the life, but I'll start a college week in my life tomorrow and you'll see her then because we have plans too. Okay, mm -hmm. bye guys. now I've been home for about an hour and we had chapter at seven o'clock it was really short really quick and then I just took a shower as you guys saw and now I'm sitting in bed um, and I'm about to reach out to all of my new ivy linkers every Sunday we get ivy linkers and if you don't know what it is or maybe you haven't been watching my videos I'm gonna kind of go over it real quick so um, I am an alpha phi as you guys know I am a sophomore I live in the sorority house and we had a virtual recruitment, virtual bid day about three, four weeks ago now already. Yeah, three weeks ago. And for the last three weeks, we have been, if you are someone who is taking a little, which I am, um, I'm a potential big, you, the last three weeks, we have been meeting up with potential littles, which is basically all of the girls in the pledge class that we just, um, recruited and stuff so there are 55 girls in pledge class 2020 so lots of freshmen there are some sophomores that chose to go through recruitment and then there's a few older people too but we took 55 new members and we have been going on three ivy linker dates a week for the last three weeks and we still have three more weeks of it so you basically date girls for six weeks and then after six weeks the littles will rank who they liked you know like one two three four whatever and then we'll have big little reviews we'll find out who our littles are we'll buy all the ba we'll do the baskets I will be making a video on baskets what I'm getting my little and stuff and then I will of course vlog big little reveal I did it last year too when I got my big alley so this year the Ivy linker process is a lot longer last year it was only like two and a half weeks I think I met with six girls total we've been doing this for three weeks and I've probably met with 12 to 15 girls between the girls that I've had and like Emily and Griffith have had Ivy linkers and like they've been in the apartment too so I've gone to meet a few other girls that way too which is awesome but on Sunday nights we are given three girls and we are required to text those girls and come up with like a plan to see them take them on a date you can do anything from walk downtown grab coffee take them to breakfast take them to dinner you can paint pumpkins you can watch a movie like there's you can do anything it's it's like dating it's basically it's literally just like dating except it's with a girl and you are you know like kind of trying to find a friend some people look for more of a friend in their big other people look for more of a mentor it kind of just depends so over the last few weeks I've been meeting with some awesome girls there are some people that I have seen multiple times since Sophia is one of them I've seen her like three or four times now and we have plans on Thursday. There's other people I've seen them once and 
while they were so nice they were awesome like I just don't see them as my little or maybe they were looking for a big that's a junior looking for a big that's older so anyways I just got my three girls for this week so I'm gonna reach out to them and the other thing is that there's 55 new members and realistically you're only gonna get to like 20 maybe 25 of them at most like at absolute most so everyone makes like a PowerPoint slide of themselves their nut phone number their snapchat like a fun fact about them a few photos their hometown major like you know the basic stuff and I actually want to go through the slides and like write down anyone that I think like seems super cool that I would really click with and just write them down because we are allowed to meet with girls like outside of our assigned three so I really want to take these next three weeks especially now that my exams are over and I you know I'm, I'm easing up a little bit I really want to take this time to get to know people and maybe if I don't even meet my little just like find some new friends you guys know I haven't always had the most friends in my sorority I really struggled with that prior to moving into the house so I really want to make a effort and I don't want any you know I don't want the freshmen to feel that way we can all be friends so that's what I'm about to do and I'm gonna be watching the notebook while I do that and then after I hear back from the girls I'll sit down and do my planner for the night usually I do my planner earlier on in the day it's just kind of hard because like some girls have classes like you basically have to work around their schedules so I'm gonna text all of them see what days they're free and then find days that work for all right guys somehow it is literally 10 30 like I have no idea how but I just made plans with a bunch of different people for this week so I just made like a little time blocked to do list for tomorrow you guys know I love doing these when I have a lot going on so tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at 8 a.m. I'm gonna get ready plan looks I've got to post a blog post a YouTube video Instagram photo stories I have a lot of emails to send tomorrow because it's Monday morning. I have a photo shoot at 12.30 to uh, hopefully 1.30 with Natalie and Liv. They've been helping me out every couple of weeks here, which is so awesome. So we are going to take pictures at 12.30. I need to run to the grocery store to pick up a few things. need to edit the video that you're watching right now because this is going to go up on Tuesday. I have to do a lecture for fashion fabrics class, take notes for this week's fashion retail industry. Dinner's at 5. I also have a meeting for a mag at 5 and I have a YouTube meeting at nine o'clock. So that's tomorrow's schedule. I know it doesn't look like that many tasks, but that's actually like a ton of work. I always think like a blog post seems so simple. I'm like, oh, I just need to get my blog post up for the day. And it never really feels like that's a big accomplishment, but I think about it and I'm like, that's like two to three hours of work every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So this was last week's spread and this is this week's. This washi tape is super old. It's from, I believe Michael's. So of course, on the first few lines, I always have my blog post and YouTube video that's going up each day. I just wrote out my schedule for Monday, Tuesday. I've got classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as you guys know. I've also got a photo shoot on Tuesday. Wednesday, I've got two Ivy Linker. Well, one of them is an Ivy Linker. One of them is just going to be me hanging out with one of the new members. On Thursday, I also have photos with Sophia, who you guys saw today. We're going to take pictures at the architecture building. And then I am having another new member over for dinner. On Friday, I'm going to have two Ivy Linkers with two different girls. We're going to go to the Apple Orchard for one. And one of the girls wants to take pictures just like for fun, like cutesy downtown pictures. Probably not pictures I'll post on the blog but Saturday I am hoping to have a photo shoot plus lunch with Jill. I'm not 100% sure I'm waiting to hear back from her. Saturdays and Sundays are looking a little chill and then I've got a few random things to do this week written down there. I haven't added any stickers because quite frankly I feel like I'm going insane right now. Nothing not makes me overwhelmed but like nothing reminds me of how like I don't even know how to describe it like I never realized how much is on my plate until I like sit down and realize how much I am able to manage there are some days like today where I'm like god I did nothing like I accomplished nothing today that is such bs like I got a school assignment done I went on a walk like I did physical activity I got a blog post up I got a youtube video up I edited two videos like constant doing something like productive does not equal busy like I always that is like what I associate with being productive busy equals productive but like that's not real just because you're busy doesn't mean you're actually doing anything productive with your time so I'm trying to remind myself that um and a lot of you guys have noticed that I've been a little strung out you you're like Mackenzie you're starting to take on a lot like you need to kind of chill out a little bit and I appreciate you guys looking out for me however I also work myself really hard because I know I'm capable of all those things and at the same time like you guys know like I'm really capable I feel like of reading my 
like body my schedule and like if i need time to like sit and rest like i will take that time which is why today it's kind of took it easy i mean i'm not gonna lie i feel guilty taking it easy today but i still did it so hopefully saturday and sunday will be some time to rest and recharge um i do want to see Liv. it's been forever so i just texted her but anyways okay and a lot of you guys have been asking where olivia and lauren are remember they are sick right now so i haven't been seeing them all right Anyways, guys, I'm actually going to end this vlog off here just because, like I said, today is a solo day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed because we will have more productive college videos coming your way. Like I said, I am going to give the college week versus weekend video trend schedule a try. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning.